Well, folks, where are we? We are in the pitch dark. We are in my garage. <clears throat> and in my garage, you know that I keep my camper. So, since we're in the camper, or close to the camper, I'm going to show you the Beeman uh, under cabinet light that I stuck in uh, the storage bin. So it would be just like we went to a campsite and we have basically have to open up the... And there you go. Just like we went to a campsite. And we have to access the storage bin. And we have to go in there and we have to get the, uh, the jacks to, to lower the jack pads and hook up our camper. <clears throat> basically, you open it up, it automatically goes on and it illuminates basically everything in there. You can't really see it on camera, but it illuminates the entire thing. You can see all the way in there. You got your access to your gloves and all that stuff. Something else that I did. <clears throat> you have your Beeman uh, uh, night lights, which are which only come on. Uh, now this one comes on day or night. Now the night lights come on only at night. So in a dark place like your garage, fantastic. When the garage door is closed, for instance, um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave this open because it's pitch dark in here. Like in a situation like this where the garage door is closed, I cannot see when I walk out of my back door to leave in the morning for work. So I installed these lights and you'll see them come on pretty soon. There's one. Look at this. These are so cool. There's two, and there's three. Now let me back up and give you the whole shebang of how this looks. It lights up the entire staircase, and that again, it's not this iPhone. It's not going to get you know really give it justice, but uh, awesome. It lights up the whole area. My wife absolutely loves it, and what this enables us to do is when we used to leave. Let's say we go someplace at night, we'd have to leave all these lights on. And I have, you can't really see this, actually I'll just turn it on. We have to leave these lights on. We've got two here and two on the other side. Alright, we'd have to leave these lights on. Because when, you, when we would pull in, it's absolutely pitch dark in here. We do have a garage door light here. I try to put a 60 watt bulb in here and it basically just melts it. And that's as powerful as it gets. And with this beam in here, it's basically pitch dark in here, so you couldn't even find the, the door. Um, so for safety reasons, we just leave the light on. What a waste of electricity. So we put these things in here, and really awesome. Love them. I actually, I tried sticking them with the stick stuff that came with it. I highly recommend you don't use that stuff, because it will rip your drywall to bits. So if I could give these things any type of negative review, I would say do not use the stick stuff that they come with. Um, now I did use the sticky stuff on the wood for the under the cabinet. Works great. Do not use the sticky stuff, the sticky, the two-sided tape on drywall. Highly do not recommend that. Okay, You can use it on wood. Um, do not use it on... Uh, I would say painted surfaces or drywall. That's just my recommendation. All right, that's just my review of these. So it can't be all good, sorry. Um, but I use the uh, I use the uh, the drywall screws that it came with. Really easy. I didn't even drill holes. I just uh, I used a punch. I just punched them real quick. It took me literally two minutes to install them. Really impressive. As you can see, they, they go off. But now that there's light in here, these won't go off. You see? Now, if I turn this off, it's going to sense that it's dark in here, and now they'll go off. You turn this on, since it's already gone off, it'll stay on the entire time. Until the allotted time, it automatically goes off. So you guys got All right, where were we? So what we're going to do is... Everyone that does a response video to this video that I just did, all right? And I'm going to title this under home security, home safety, all that good stuff. 
uh, does a response video of how they're going to use their Beeman product, okay? And like I said, they can send you anything. I don't know what they're going to send you, but they're going to send you something. And I recommended that they send something to the effect of maybe these under cabinet uh, lighting products because whether you live in an apartment or your mom's house, anybody could use these and they are really high quality and they are bright as all get out and they're just absolutely beautiful products. Um, you know, but uh, like I said, I don't know what they're going to send, uh, but it's going to be something to that effect. So there's two in a box, so they're, they're really awesome. But anyway, uh, hey, whatever it is, it's awesome. It's free. Uh, here's their products. Look at this, man. You can go to their website and check them out. All right, so go to their website, Mr. Beams. I'll put it in the title. Um, so just do a response video. And like I said, your name will be up for the drawing. All right, send it to me, response video. Instead of making a comment, do a response video. I'll put it, I'll put it down as a response video to my video. Basically, your video will go right underneath my video. And those response videos are the ones that will be eligible for the drawing, period. Okay, and I'll just pick your name out of a hat. Real easy, okay? So uh, that'll cut down on how many people enter, you know? So hopefully it'll only be, you know, it'll probably only be about eight or nine people. So that, that, that really cuts down your chances, you know. Uh, who knows? I've done this before, and sometimes it's like 20 or 30 people that do it. Uh, sometimes it's only like five or six people that do it. So what do you have to lose? So, hey, y'all take it easy. The drawing will be next Saturday. So you guys got a week to figure this out. All right? Y'all take it easy. Dog out.